Hey, it's LEGO Technics Rule here, and I just wanted to share with you and some information about it. A new LEGO part that LEGO released in 2018, but only started appearing in Technic sets in 2020. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe. And here it is, the 28 Tooth LEGO Bevel Gear. Now, I apologize for the clickbait thumbnail, and I know some other people have made videos on this gear, but they really only showed its gear ratios with other bevel gears. With LEGO, you can mesh any two gears one way or another. And if you were one of the people who made one of those videos, I'm not picking on you at all. I just want to provide more information about this new part. So anyway, it has been 16 freaking years since LEGO released a new gear with a different number of teeth. Anyway, here's how I will be showcasing the ratios. The setups with the yellow bricks and beams are bevel gears, and the setups with the red are normal gears. If you don't know what a gear ratio is, here's a quick example. In a 1 to 3 gear ratio, you can turn the first gear one complete revolution, and the second gear will turn a third of a revolution. Just remember that these are just examples of how to mesh the gears. There are many, many other ways you can do it. In this first example, I use a 12 tooth bevel gear with a new 28 tooth bevel gear. Here's a 20 tooth LEGO bevel gear with the new gear. You can also use two of them together to achieve a nice 1 to 1 gear ratio. And here's a way to mesh the new 28 tooth bevel gear with the big 36 tooth bevel gear. And don't forget, earlier I said you can match any two LEGO gears, even the ones that aren't beveled. Here's the tiny 8 tooth LEGO gear with the new 28 tooth bevel gear. And here's a 16 tooth gear paired with the new one. And here's an example of how it can work with the 24 tooth gear. You can even mesh the new gear with the biggest LEGO gear of them all, the almighty 40 tooth gear. You may be wondering about the worm gear. I haven't seen any other videos that successfully mesh the worm gear with the new 28 tooth bevel gear. However, I did find a way to do it, but as you can see, I kind of cheated. There's also another LEGO gear that not too many people know about or even use, but here's a combination for it anyway. This gear has 14 teeth and it's technically a bevel gear because it has beveled edges. You can also use it at an angle just like any other LEGO bevel gear. Okay, so you may be thinking, okay, so what? We got a new LEGO bevel gear, and now I can make a bunch of new ratios with it. That's great and all, but a new gear allows us to do one more thing. Say you need a 7 to 5 gear ratio exactly 4 studs apart. The only way on earth you're going to get that ratio is if you use the new 28 tooth bevel gear with the 20 tooth bevel gear. As you can see, there are other LEGO gears that can mesh in that 4 stud gap, however their ratios are different. These two 24 tooth gears have a ratio of 1 to 1 and not 7 to 5. The point is, is that you can use this new gear to achieve ratios within a certain distance you've never been able to achieve before. Moving on, here are some quick and interesting things about the 28 tooth LEGO bevel gear. Its element ID is 46372 and first appeared in, surprisingly, the Harley Davidson Fat Boy motorcycle set, which is of the LEGO creator theme and not Technic. The first Technic set the 28 tooth bevel gear appeared in was the Lieber R 9800 Excavator set, which is the biggest LEGO Technic set to date. The most notable set it appears in is the LEGO Mindstorm's Spike Prime set, which is the successor to LEGO Mindstorm's EV3. Alright, that's about it for this one. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.